a single trophy. Trophy. So after winning La Liga, people start to dream in Champions League. The performances in Champions League were bad. Four. It's completely different. And also the way the team was. Is our one to watch tonight. He's been such a big miss for Hansi Flick. He's played 13 times. Off the goals, of course, have dropped off. I mean, probably not as offensive as. Lamine Yamal is back in the starting 11. Xabi, he's back. Barcelona have never lost. Playing as a right back, he's having some rest, and uh, Mafeo takes his forward in possession, picks out Lamine Yamal. His first touch of the ball. He's found Danny Olmo. Back to Lamine Yamal. But Sergi Darde is there to do his defensive duties. It's Pedri who picks out the loose ball, goes for the pass over the top. It looks like it's going to maybe be offside, but at the moment the flag stays down. Lamine Yamal is in the box, holding off Johan Mojica, tries to twist and turn, trying to lay off the pass. As you see the replay, indeed he was offside. Rafinha. And that was clear. All the Marcio, Eugenia, very good evening to you. It may be Tuesday, but it's a very lively atmosphere in Palma de Mallorca. Definitely lively with just under 23,000 spectators. So almost a full house here at Estadio so much for the before the halfway, and the pass is made bef at the moment that that run is still in, in Mallorca's half. So that's if a couple of minutes earlier received the ball in between the lines. So Mallorca's strength today is is playing like they trying to play and crosses, but this is the strength always creating danger. Not a bad ball in towards the front post. It's deflected. It drops here. At the edge of the box for Lamine Yamal, he thought about the shot but couldn't sort his feet. Left for the visitors. He's got Balde overlapping. Danny Olmo at the moment the only man in the box. Rafinha's just made his way in there. Lamine tries to end. Barcelona did well to win it back almost as quickly. Bears in terms of pace, which is better than Murici, but I think. Let's see, I mean, I see that sometimes when they when they recover to come and get the ball to Sergi Darde. Lamine Yamal cuts onto his left inside the box, he goes down in the box as well. The referee says there's nothing in that. It did. Has had it. On the second line, make the run, but sometimes a very easy action, it, it leads to, to success and it is a one-two. So you, you're driving with the ball. Ball for Jules Koundé. Now Lamine Yamal is on the ball on his left foot. It's either a very poor shot or a very poor cross, regardless. From Lam Antonio Sanchez is leading the press through the middle. Dani Olmo comes back to link up the play with Lamina Mal. He skips past Samu Costa. Now past Morlanes. Casador. Not the best of passes to Lamina Mal. And Balde makes the challenge. Rafinha Ferran is waiting in the box. It goes back to Lamine Yamal. And he's Rafinha quite clearly onside. Lamine Yamal asking for the ball. And he wasn't happy with either the pass or his execu or execution, it seems. We'll see it here. It actually hits both of his feet. The numbers for Barcelona with Lamine Yamal are almost incredible. Barcelona have not won any. It was by Pau Cubarcia, actually. Drops now for Mojica. Shouts for a handball and quite aggressive ones as well as it came off Pedri. Barcelona, the teammate Balde keeps a cool head, tries to clear. And now Barcelona will break again with Lamine Yamal. He plays the diagonal pass for Ferran Torres. Under pressure now gets in the box, tries to play it back for Rafinha. The pass just ends up behind the Brazilian captain. Barcelona have looked most dangerous in this game, at least, on the counter. Means the midfield hasn't had a role to play really. Marcasado has done more defending than contributing going forward. A bit more than Pedri, he's just and even Olmo. Olmo. Hey, we haven't mentioned his name too much. In fact, we've mentioned I Ferran Torres. Kunde lays it off to Lamine Yamal. I don't think that's happening at the half time, but the game now is. Stake at the back from Mallorca. Pedri finds Rafinha in space now, cuts on to his right. It's Ferran Torres again, took a heavy touch. Now to the challenge, Casado now with Lamine Yamal. Two chances lost because of a bad touch of Ferran. This is the moment where the question comes, why isn't Lewandowski starting today? Goes long, it's a mistake at the back, Rafinha is now in behind. One on one, it's a big save from Leo Roman. Now it may drop for Lamine. Rafinha with the overhead kick again, and the touch from Lamine Yamal goes off to a close.
But Chappie, they have just conceded at the other end. But they go. Golden opportunity for Barcelona to take. Leo Roman, but I think it's a clear mistake of the captain. And then it's not about him. Doesn't look like the smiling manager in the touchline, but he does. Getting their equaliser. Now Rafinha plays in the corner kick. Inigo Martinez gets a touch. It drops here for Lamine Yamal. Thought about the shot first time. Brings it under control. Now goes back onto his right foot. And it goes. But Lamine Yamal trying. To and well, let's see if. Uh, Pedri gets more involved, isn't it? Something that we missed in, in the first half. And, uh... It's the other player warming up for Barca. That one also adding up. Thank you, Eugenia. So there, Inigo Martinez and Jules Koundé seemed to... Dani Olmo into space. Superb ball here for Lamine Yamal. He's in behind the Mallorca back line. He goes down as he is just bundled over. But... From that angle. And Mojica collides with Lemon run against any team in La Liga in the club's history. Last season they did pick up a point in this exact game. It ended 2-2. But Lamin Yamal is gonna is gonna pull. Ball. He's laid it off for Danny Olmo. The visitors carry on playing. It's now Lamin Yamal Rafinha asking for the ball at the back post. Header away from Valient. Mojica up against Laminia. Yamal just returning the favour for the earlier challenge. Yamal, those two. And now Lamin goes in for the challenge and Kel back, who's gone down. As Lamin Yamal goes down, the referee was going to. Changes coming up. Robert Navarro and Dani Rodriguez, as expected. So Abdon Prats will wait for his turn, but Jovar Sate listening to. It's fair to say that this second half, they're having a little bit more the ball, they're having longer possessions, Casadores, and a lot of players making run forward, more direct, uh, don't spend much time in midfield. I think. Lays it off now to Lamine Yamal with the outside of his boot. He loves that cross, and it's a brilliant goal. It's helped in to the back of the net by Rafinha. Barcelona's number 11 of his boots. Everyone goes over to Lamine Yamal. He's back on the team sheet, won the penalty, provides an assist. But yet again, Xavi Ferrer. So Murici out, Antonio Sanchez out. And the other one is Mateo Morey is going to be four. Lamine Yamal links up with Rafinha. Lamine Yamal on the volley. And it's well Blofeo, who's just gone down injured as well. He's asked for the change. But if 3-1. Lamine Yamal showing off even more of his individual. Rafinha plays in the corner. Drops almost for Kunde. Took a heavy touch, but Mafeo tries to clear. Lamine Yamal hit the shot. Took a deflection. Leo Roman available to them. And maybe those changes will become a bit easier for Hansi Flick to make now that his side are 3-1 up. As now Pau Victor has found space in behind. Cuts it across. It'll drop for Frankie de Jong. And it's 4 So the goals start flooding in here at the Estadio Mallorca. Son Mosh, Hansi Flick is happy with what he's seeing from his side. Frankie de Jong has just come on off the bench. He's now scored a goal, his first of the season. And quite frankly, he was never going to miss from there. No, that was an easy... And Goes for the long ball to Rafinha. He plays the diagonal pass to Lamina Mallet. Drops kindly for him. He cuts onto his left. Mojica stood his ground. Now Frankie across and it's just that they had to be more offensive when Barcelona scored. They left a lot of spaces. Look the difference between first and second half. And well, that's a fantastic ball from Lamin. I think they could have finished with the right foot. They decided not to. But Frankie following the action and then Pau. The two men who were brought on off the bench have both. But all they they play better football and they've been more aggressive said about his quality to score goals well scored for Barcelona the fifth Barcelona win the ball back in midfield no foul Gavi has picked out Lamine Yamal he tries the chip it's well blocked by Leo Roman it's back to Lamine who keeps the chance alive tries to play it across and it's well dealt with Le and now the referee blows his whistle for the end of the game Barcelona goals would follow
as we see now at the end of the game. Both sides greeting it following a penalty scored by Rafinha. Everything seemed to go in Barcelona's favour and quite handsomely as well. Barcelona now on four 16 games played in La Liga. Very, very impressive numbers from Hansi Flick's side who get back to sing. Today I think we were on form. I don't think it was our best game, but the most important thing was to win 